Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. And um, I've been asked a question, how can one progress as a QA engineer? How can you advance in your career? So I'm going to lay out some of the things that I would do and the approach I would take if I was thinking to make a next uh, step and advance as a QA engineer. Let's say I am a junior or even a mid-level QA engineer and I'm doing mostly manual pretty hands-on and I'm thinking, okay, what is my next step? How can I advance and move forward? So um, first of all, you need to set clear career goals. Uh, do you want to stay in hands-on testing and grow into a senior role as a hands-on tester? Do you want to advance into a management role as a hand, hands-on tester? Do you want to maybe deepen your knowledge and become an expert in a certain industry doing hands-on testing? That might be financial sector, or maybe you want to be specific on some localization with a specific product. So there's always uh, a way to grow and get more expertise, even if you're doing hands-on testing, right? Uh, that might be industry expertise. Uh, that might be expertise within certain domain. Uh, that might be uh, more of a leading roles. Now, or maybe you want to move uh, into automation domain. You want to do more automation instead of doing hands-on testing. So decide what are you going to transition into and set a goal. Is that going to be um, QA automation? Maybe it's going to be senior role for manual QA. Maybe it's going to be DevOps even, or a software developer in test, or you want to become a product manager or business analyst. I mean, or even developer. There's like a lot of different things you can move into from quality assurance. So make a note, uh, set a goal, and kind of write down what you're going to do. Because based on that, you will have to adjust your focus and things you will need to learn to move forward, right? So um, because ch my channel is mostly QA focused, so let's say that you choose to become a web automation engineer, right? Uh, specifically web testing, not mobile, web automation. Okay, so now uh, what do you start with? Well, you want to strengthen the core QA skills, right? Uh, you want to understand the field that you're in. Let's say you're uh, testing in banking. So you want to search for cases online uh, that are done for testing banking applications. Uh, you want to learn about regulations and rule in the sector and what kind of references you can use to understand uh, what should be done when you testing transaction or other banking specific things, right? So there's a lot of material online, online so go ahead and read it that, right? So be focused on um, quality assurance in a specific industry if you're going into that industry. So web automation in whatever industry you're going into, right? Um, might be real estate, right? So some, some things that are for that industry you want to be um, doing research and reading more about that industry and how people actually test products similar to yours. Then if you're going into web automation, you want to master some automation uh, and tools, right? So I would say gain expertise in uh, Playrate and um, gain expertise in Postman. So those are two core tools that will help you with web automation. They are uh, great to learn if you're just starting, if you're moving from junior mid-level um, manual QA into automation quality assurance. Like I have a uh, a lot of material on Playwright and a lot of material on Postman, so you can learn it here. Uh, so pick those two tools. They're going to help you a lot to advance. This is like the hottest, the, the best, the most widely adopted and used tools. So Playwright and Postman. Playwright for web automation and Postman for API. You can also do uh, Playwright for API, uh, but that would be like uh, going to be a little bit more advanced than doing it with Postman. You will also need to learn um, about Git. So uh, most of the time you will be working in different repositories. Uh, you will be updating. You will be working with other people that are in the code. So you'll have to understand how Git works. And also um, work with CI, CD, whatever the process for your like deployment, new builds, uh, that will be uh, learned within the given environment. So you will be working with other people. You will have a, a certain technology stack, so you have to look what is being used uh, within your company and uh, practice it, read about it, learn it online, and you know, try doing it a little bit 
little by little get more like into those tools if you can start doing th- certain things at work uh, where those tools are already implemented, but you maybe never worked with them before because you were doing just manual tests, right? Also, um, don't be afraid to take more responsibility. So mentor and lead. So you help junior testers improve their skills. Uh, you help with uh, interview process. You participate in interview. You create documentation. So the more you contribute and you take part of the process, the more you also grow as, a, as, as an expert in the field. So that's going to help you advance and uh, enhance your skills. Uh, also, feel free to suggest new tools and uh, frameworks that can improve the process. You can learn some new tools, uh, see if they are a good fit for your company and start applying a little bit on your own. And when you have something to show, you can have a demo and explain to everyone like why this tool is better, what you currently use, what are going to be the benefits, uh, is it going to save time, is it going to be more efficient, can you do more coverage, and so on. So uh, don't 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 uh, feel afraid to suggest new things and implement the new things uh, that if they help you with getting your goals right. Also, when looking at the process, try to identify bottlenecks and provide like feedback if you know something is not working well uh, if something is broken and you have suggestions on how to improve that make sure that you raise your concerns with the management and say you know i've seen uh, this thing is not working well in the company there's a certain process broken uh, this is what i typically do or this is what i typically have seen in other places how it's been done or this is what i've researched and is good for this case so uh, you want to try and to unlock those bottlenecks and explain why it's important to improve the process, maybe because you're going to get more bugs opened if this will be in place, or you're going to have an enhanced uh, overall flow of 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 the code and from the development to testing to the release stage without um, faster or with less issues. So trying to understand where things are getting stuck and how you can... Uh, resolve those bottlenecks uh, is also very important and uh, once you're doing and once you're moving into uh, automation and web though also you can still move forward like you can still pursue a lead role um, you don't have to become a manager or specifically like a QA director a role of that is doing management 100% but you can move into a lead position uh, or like a senior QA that uh, kind of oversees and helps others because you already uh Establish the tool. You help with writing documentation. You did interview. You train people. So, in, I mean, it's only natural for you to advance uh, from uh, just a kind of a QA automation position into a lead QA automation position. So, this is also the way to move forward in the career. And once uh, you feel comfortable in that role, then you can think about doing something else. Maybe going into even as that. So, software developer in test. Uh, get ha- more hands-on on overall process and CI/CD, and uh, maybe bringing up automation like from scratch and stuff like that. And the last thing that uh, you should be doing is stay updated and keep learning. Uh, you want to follow industry leaders in QA. You want to follow um, the automation tools that are out there. Uh, you want to take courses on Udemy. Uh, you want to attend QA conferences or uh, webinars that might be online or in person, or uh, you want to even maybe research any meetups or groups uh, that are dedicated to testing in your area. So being up to date with uh, things that are going on uh, is very important. And I found that doesn't matter how far you advance in your career, uh, you will always have to learn things like, because the things that are out there and you need to learn they're infinite technologies get updated things change uh regulations change you know application change requirement change technologies that developers use change and your testing have to change and adapt to that so um there's no such thing (laughs) that you learn testing and you're done like oh i i know testing i learned testing i don't even think there's such thing in tech in general like i learned I learned C uh, sharp or whatever, and now I know it, or Java, and that's it. I'm done. No, um, it all everything is always changing, uh, and one of the things that is very, I think, 
maybe not unique, but very specific to quality assurance career and to tech careers and development career is uh, the learning never stops. Uh, so it's quite common for you to do something at work and then maybe se- spend some extra time after work reading on things, trying things out and continuously learning. Uh, as long as you're in the field, as long as you're doing something, uh, you will you will be learning new things and searching new things and figuring out things every day or almost every day. So it's just part of the industry. Okay. So hopefully uh, this video helps. So if you're thinking about advancing uh, your career as a manual or junior or mid-level QA engineer that is doing mostly hands-on stuff, again, uh, pick what you're going to do, write it down, set a goal, um, get your skills, strengths uh, around what you will be testing in the industry, see for examples online, and master a tool that you know will be uh, beneficial for your imp- improvement and uh, moving towards your career goal, right? So take more responsibility uh, with specific tools. Again, learn Playwright, Postman, Git, uh, participate in interview, create documentation, suggest tools, frameworks, identify bottlenecks, help to resolve them, think about m- moving towards leadership positions, and keep on learning. That's like in a nutshell. All right, so this was Alex, you say days. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much and bye-bye.